All right, guys, this is problem 17.43 for week five. Uh, the problem says astronauts visiting planet X have a 250 centimeter long string whose mass is five grams. They tie the string to a support, stretch it horizontally over a pulley two meters away, and hang a four kilogram mass on the free end. Then the astronauts begin to excite the string or excite standing waves on the string. Uh, and then they get this data from that, uh, which is mass times or versus frequency. And then the problem says to use the best fit line of the graph data to determine the value of gravity uh determine the value of gravity on planet x all right so basically what we want here uh we want to find gravity on planet x uh using this data we're given here uh and anything else we know uh speaking of things we know uh we know that the frequency is equal to of the waves excited is equal to mass times velocity uh over twice the length of the string uh, we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Uh, specifically, in this case, the force in question is tension, uh, which is equal to mass times the gravitational acceleration since the mass is hanging on a vertical rope. Uh, we know that velocity is equal to, of the waves, is equal to the square root of tension over mass per unit length. And we know mass per unit length can be broken down into the mass of the string over the length of the string. Uh, so I drew a picture here. Uh, to kind of bring it all together. Uh, so basically we have uh, the rope here uh, fixed at one point, stretched over a length L horizontally, uh, and then hung over a pulley with the mass hanging on the end. Uh, the mass is of course pulled on by gravity, uh, which is what we're trying to find. Uh, and basically the scientists excited waves on this horizontal portion of the string uh, to gather that data that we were given earlier. Um, all right, so let's get breaking this down. Uh, we'll start here with uh, frequency is equal to mv over 2l. Uh, we're going to substitute the v in this equation uh, into this more specific definition of v, which is uh, tension over mass per unit volume uh, square rooted. Uh, so that gives us this. Uh, and again, as we just mentioned, for this problem, uh, tension, or the force in question is tension, which is equal to mass times the gravitational acceleration. Uh, so we can break this f tension up into the mass they give us, which is four times gravity. Uh, I just plugged in a number here, here because it ends up working out nicely with simplification. Uh, so that gives us this. Uh, so basically this is our equate, this is our, uh, where we're gonna stop with finding our equation for FM. Uh, and then using the data that they gave us, now we're gonna find another equation for FM that we can then use to compare the, uh, to this one. Uh, so I went ahead and graphed the data, uh, like so. Uh, this is just a drawing of it. And then if you go ahead and gather the best fit uh, by just taking the vertical component or the rise over the horizontal component over the run, uh, you should get a slope of about 32.3. Uh, so the equation of the line would thus uh, then be, sorry for this focusing, it would then be uh, the frequency is equal to uh, 32.3 times m. So this is in linear form. Uh, so now we have two equations for FM, which is great because then we can set them equal to each other uh, like I did here. So we have, again, the graph equation, the graphical equation uh, set equal to the equation we just derived for FM. Uh, and as you can see, I broke down mass per unit length into its components here. Uh, and then if you do some algebra with that uh, and isolate for G, which is what we want, uh, you get this. You get G is equal to the uh, slope of the line squared times the length squared times mass of the string over the length. Uh, and this is our answer. We know it's an answer because it's what we want, g, in terms of only things that we know. Uh, length is a given variable in the problem. Mass of the string is a known value as well. Uh, and of course, this slope is a number that we gathered already. Uh, so yeah, all you have to do is plug in the values that the problem gives you now. Uh, you have to do some unit conversion over here for the uh, new value. And then you should get about 8.36 meters per second squared. Uh, so uh, that's definitely a reasonable value uh, in terms of context. For gravity, we know gravity on Earth is about uh, uh, is around nine, and then uh, we know this is supposed to be. If you remember from a couple weeks ago, the problem said that it's supposed to be easier on this planet, or uh, gravity is supposed to be weaker on this planet. Uh, so this lines up with that. Uh, so yeah, as far as pitfalls, uh, the problem wasn't, I don't think there's really any tricks per se in that. 
uh, but it is a bit lengthy, so just make sure to remember to convert your units and keep track of all your variables. Thanks, guys.